Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. So before anything gets started today, I want to say thank you guys so much for 280 subscribers on YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. I haven't been the most consistent despite having a long time of being rather consistent. That's just because I was out of town. Wukong is much longer and much more enjoyable than I thought. And then with all the games coming out, I'm just scrambling for time, so I really apologize. Over the weekends, I'll probably have some double uploads, so keep an eye on your inboxes for that. Also, I want to say that if you, I don't typically wear this. This is this is literally what I wear to bed. I just took a shower and ate dinner, so now I'm like getting ready to record, edit for the night, and such like that. Uh, I would have Wukong out today, however, I have six hours worth of footage to go through, and I'm not even done with chapter two yet. I'm just having so much fun with the game that I'm like, I, yes, I want to just keep playing the game. So I apologize for not having Wukong out. I'll have Wukong out tomorrow. Today I want to talk about something a little different. I don't typically do these one-on-one -on -one, like vlog story things, but I figured I'd give it another shot. And this is about when I went to Dragon Con. For those of you who don't know what Dragon Con is, it's a giant convention where there's anime, video games, comics, voice actors and voice actresses, actual actors and actresses and stuff like that. And you can go and meet everybody. You can see a bunch of cosplaying, everything. It's great. And I went to go get some signatures. And this is where my story kind of begins and my frustration. So you can get some signatures. And I originally got the signatures for the real life actors for the real for the real life avatar that's coming out for Zuko and Aang. I also got the English voice actress signature for Nezuko from Demon Slayer, and I got the English voice actress signature for Califla for Dragon Ball. I went back in there and I saw Gian Carlos Esposito. If you don't know who he is, he's the Antagonist in Far Cry 6, he's in The Gentleman, and he's in Breaking Bad. Those are the big three that I know he's in. He's probably in other lines of work that I haven't seen, but I've seen him in those pieces. I end up, I want to get the signatures of the first four, and I leave to go to another panel. I go with my friends. I'm not super into the panel, and I tell them I'm going to leave and go get a signature, and they weren't into the panel either, so that we all left together. I end up going to wait in line, and the line is insanely long. Like, it's super long, but it didn't, it didn't, I didn't have to wait that long to get inside. So anyways, I'm on, I end up on my own because my friends decided to go do something else. And I wait in line, I talk to this lady, she ends up actually doing the, um, I think it's the, v, I think she said it was the VFX for Borderlands. Uh, Borderlands 3 specifically, so if for some reason you see this video, it was really nice to talk to you, uh, and fucking awesome, awesome job. I end up talking to her, and, and I get inside. I get inside this giant hall, think of it like a giant room with booths around the edge, and then a line, two double side booths in the middle, so you create this giant one-way oval that you walk in. I get to the end of the oval, and there is Giancarlo Esposito. He is standing right there. I was like, I have to get a signature, I have to. So I go in, I get a signature, and I leave. I also actually get a picture, which I'll put on the screen now. Uh, which I'm super, super happy about. I end up leaving, and I call my friends a couple times, but they're not answering the phone. Makes sense, you know? They're, they're having fun, having, like, at the con as well. They're not gonna always be on their phone, I get it. And so, I end up waiting by these escalators. And by these escalators, I was standing there, and it can't, Harry can't, I'll also put this on the screen as well. It's a, it's this clone trooper. He's Captain Rex from the Clone Wars. And I think he did a really, really good job. And I typically am not someone who's like asking for photos. I have one other photo that I took of somebody in two days. And I even walked around going like, I should have asked that person for a photo. They look so good. That would have been awesome. I asked this person for a photo. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's fucking, I'm gonna ask this guy. So I asked him and he was really nice about it. He was like, he was like, yeah, for sure. He just came down the escalator with his friends. And he was, I was like, hi, can I get a picture? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. And he was really enthusiastic about it, which I thought was really nice. Posed, it was awesome. We're not even, keep in mind, we're not even near the escalator. If the escalators are here, we are probably just on the other side of that door. So we're, and I am the bottom of the escalator. So there's plenty of room for people to disperse. This old guy come, comes through. And he's wearing a drag. I think he's wearing a Dragon Con thing. He's wearing a lanyard of some kind, but I couldn't see what was on the bottom. He just tell. He says, "Quote: Fucking move out the way. This is no place to take a goddamn picture, you fucking moron." We we both were just like, all like me and the guy cosplaying were both just like, "What the fuck?" So I turn around. I'm not one for confrontation in public. I would rather just let that insult go. But I was like, this took a luck out of me to like ask for them to take a picture because I feel like I'm a bother and all this other crap. I. I go, I go, hey, what the fuck is your problem? And the, as soon as I say that, the guy with the fucking cosplay gets one of his pistols and throws it at this guy's ba back of his guy's head. And he stops. The guy just freezes. We all are just standing there making dead icon. Like, I see this gun fly. Like, hey, it's not a real gun. Keep that in mind. It's like a like cosplay one. It's not airsoft or anything. It's not real. Hits this dude in the back of the head. He just turns around. He's like, he's looking at us like, what the fuck are you doing? It's me, guy cosplaying, and all three of his friends just staring at him. And then he walks away. And then he goes to pick up his gun. And he's like, I'm really sorry about that. I'm like, oh, this is not his fault. Not my, this is no one's fault. He's just grumpy. And my thing is, what causes people to be like that? I don't understand. If you're going to a convention, 
people are going to stop and take pictures. Maybe in not in the most uh, opportune spot. Sometimes it's just super on the spot. They just do it and everything. You don't go and cuss people out and call them morons and shit for taking a picture. There's just no reason for that. There's just no reason at all that may it makes no sense. It doesn't like it just shows how much of an asshole you are and then you go to walk away and when something hits you in the back of the head from the people you just insulted you give them a death stare like what was that for i didn't do anything wrong like granted do, do i do i say go hit people no don't don't go hit people with your stuff don't do that don't sit there and be so unbelievably shocked when you get hit by something um this isn't really much of like this doesn't have much of like a setting per se other than the pictures I provide. But this is something I just wanted to talk about. Like if you're going to a convention or you're going to a public gathering and someone wants to take a picture, don't be a dick. Don't, don't be a fucking asshole. Like I just, I don't, I don't get it. There's no point in going and getting upset because someone wants to take a picture. Even if it's not in the most opportune position, just don't. There was another lady that uh, we were in line and she was trying to go against all of the traffic. It was, she was an older lady. She was probably like in her 50s, 60s maybe. And she's going against the traffic. And we come out of this line, like my friends and I, and we stop next to a pole. We're trying to figure out what to eat. And we stop next to a pole out of the way of traffic. We're not impeding anything. And she starts mumbling to herself about how much of an issue we're causing. I didn't say anything. No, none of us said anything. I think I'm the only one who heard it. When you're going to this, these conventions, the traffic is going to be a bit shit inside with people moving and everything. Like, it's gonna be hectic. You're gonna be moving shoulder to shoulder. Get over it. I don't really know what else to say. Don't sit there and mutter things under your breath. If you're gonna say it, say it with your chest like the old like the old man did. But if you're gonna say it with your chest, don't be surprised when it comes back to hit you. It just doesn't take much for you to just go around and then say it when no one's around or just whatever. I want to talk about that because I was really shocked at how much of this that people were complaining. But those were the two instances that suck out instantly because one i was just amazed that this person like murmuring under their breath like nobody could hear them and i was amazed and surprised that oh you're gonna act so shocked when someone hits you in the head with one of their props yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little story time it's not long i also just want again wanted to give you guys something before i edit wukong because i have three hours of footage to go through at least it is going to take me three or four hours and i, I wouldn't be up till tomorrow if it was to go up today it'd go up at like 10 30 and i wanted you guys to have something to watch the plan is to just keep playing wukong um the casting of frank stone might not make an appearance on the channel unless i do it as a one-time thing or if until dawn and and or silent hill are super short so we'll see if there's any games you specifically want to see make sure you down in the comments below thank you guys so much for coming out really appreciate it and have a fantastic day i'll see you guys next time